Welcome to Intro to Java with a focus on AP Computer Science A with Tokyo EdTech. That is me. Today's topic, ArrayList. So here's what we're going to take a look at. Well, what is an ArrayList? We'll look at how to create them, how to access the elements in an ArrayList, how to modify the elements in an ArrayList, how to traverse ArrayLists using for, while, and enhanced for loops, and we'll look at developing algorithms again. So if you saw the Arrays unit, uh, and hopefully you have, this, this is the next next unit. Um, it's very very similar, uh, but the big difference is that array lists when you create them they are empty, and then you can add elements and you can actually remove elements, which is pretty cool. So they are not fixed in size. Uh, you can add stuff, delete, do whatever you want. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code. So the first thing that you need to know about array lists is that they actually need to be imported. Uh, so they are not part, I guess. I guess you say of the actual core core Java language. So we need to import. Now notice this import is going before the class name. So just like we did with Java util scanner, we're going to be importing java.util.arraylist. And it's singular, not plural. So now that we've imported that, we can use that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an array of computer languages. So watch this weird syntax. So array list less than string languages. Again, notice I always keep it plural and something's wrong with the spellings there. Languages equals new, not mu, new array list string and parentheses. Isn't that weird? I think it's weird. So I'm going to compile that and it compiles successfully. So what we want to do here, I'm just going to go have to, I guess I have to modify first. Um, let's go ahead and just put this in here then. So now I have an empty array list. Let me go ahead and add values to the list. So I'm going to say languages dot add. Of course, we'll go with Java. It's our, our main language here. Java, go ahead and add a few of these. So Java, we've got Python, we've got uh, JavaScript. And well, let's go with keep, we'll keep with our old school languages and we've got C++. So if, again, if I compile this, now if I you know, run it, nothing's gonna be happening because we didn't print anything. So let's go ahead and uh, print some stuff. So if you think about this, this is just like an array. So we're gonna be using indices. So this would be index zero, this would be index one, this would be index two, this would be index three because of the order that we added them because we're adding them at the end. So if I do system dot, system dot out dot print ln, and it's gonna be languages. Now, if it's an array, we would use square brackets, okay? but we don't. Uh, so we're going to use methods, public methods, that should be familiar to you now. We're going to use get, so get zero, for example, I'm going to go ahead and two, three, okay. So zero, one, two, and three. So let's go ahead and compile that. And you can see we got Java zero, Python one, JavaScript two, and C++ three. We can also modify those just like we did with uh, arrays. So let's say, um, yeah, we don't like C++. So we'll go to, we'll say languages. So again, instead of square brackets, we're going to use dot set. We need the index, in this case three, and we're going to change C++ to C sharp, which is a bit more uh, a bit more Java friendly. And then we'll go ahead and print that and see if we actually were successful in doing so. So let's go ahead and compile it. Okay. So we went ahead and we changed C sharp or C to C sharp. Pretty cool. Okay. So notice we've created an array list. Okay. So we have string here and string here. Now there are some cases in the AP where you'll see those not matching, uh, you know, Pay attention to the AP materials for that. 
uh, and then we had to add items to the list, to the array list. We accessed using get, and we changed it uh, using set. That's about it, it's pretty straightforward. So traversing an array list is very similar to traversing a regular array. So for example, uh, we would just do for int i equals zero. i is less than, now watch this one, languages.size, and then i plus plus. Okay, so with strings, it's dot length with parentheses. With arrays, it's dot length. And with array lists, it is dot size parentheses. So yeah, lovely, right? So then what I would do here is I would say string language equals uh, languages dot get i. Then, you know, system dot out dot print ln print ln language. So again, what I'm hoping you see is this pattern. It doesn't, you know, from this part here and this part here, nothing really changes. Just the way that we access it, you know, between an array and an array list or a string, whatever that, that collection is. Uh, and then the way we get the uh, size or the length, the number of elements differs depending on the structure that we're using. So if I compile that and run it, we should see Java, Python, JavaScript, C-sharp. I can do the same thing with a while loop, int i is zero, uh, while i is less than languages.size. Oops, don't put a semicolon there, you'll get a weird result. Uh, and then at this point, I can just copy. And if we run that, compile and run it. Oops, ooh, what did I forget to do? We'll see. My bad. Uh, I plus plus. I forgot to do that. So compile and run, and you can see we've got um, Python JavaScript printed out again. And then finally, we can do the same thing with an enhanced for loop. So for uh, string language in languages and system out print ln language. So a lot of it's very similar. There are a few different uh, changes there. And you see, we see we got the same thing three times in a row. All righty. Um, so, uh, developing algorithms. So let's go ahead and basically kind of redo the maximum value one that we did in the last one. So there should be some similarities, there should be some differences. So to make an array list, and in this case we're gonna use integer. Okay, and we're gonna do scores equals new array list integer. And remember the weird syntax. Note here, I use the integer, what's called the integer wrapper class. Uh, what this is, this is an object that stores an integer. So for array list, we need to use you know, objects. The other thing you need to think about or you need to be aware of is that even though it's an integer, there is like a get value method. There's, there's a couple different methods that go with it. Java will automatically convert it for you. You don't really have to think about it. Uh, but in this case, we want to use the integer wrapper class. And that's W-R-A-P-P-E-R, -P -P -E not wrapper, R-A-P-P-E-R. -P -P -E Let's go ahead and add some values. So scores.add. And this is, I think, basically the same thing that we did in the last video. Arrays, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is. Uh, so I think the values were 45. So this should look familiar if you saw the last video recently. 75, uh, 97, 23, and 76. So just like we did before, we're going to assume the max value is scores.get0. So this could be the maximum value. We don't know. Uh, we do because we've seen all the scores, but we can, it's possible. And then we do our for loop. Now I'm going to go ahead and comment this out so I don't have to deal with that little weird problem again. Easy way to do it. 
do this. And we should put a shortcut somewhere I forgot about. And yeah, that's good. So for int i equals one, because you know we don't need to check this. We know we're gonna start with one. We talked about that in the last video as well. Uh, i is less than scores dot size i plus plus. And then again, we're gonna do int score equals scores dot get i. And then from here on, it's the same thing as we did before. So if max value is greater than this, or sorry, if the score is greater than max value, then we set the max value to the score because that's the new maximum. Then we do system out dot print ln max value plus max value. I could have called it max score. That probably would have made a little more sense. That's okay. And we can see the max value again is 97. So the, the basic algorithm, the basic steps do not change. The way that we you know create the structure, create the collection, the way that we add values, the way that we get values is a little different. But the actual algorithm itself doesn't change. There's there, this is how you do this. Um, because we have to traverse and go through all of the values in that that you know in that structure in that collection. Okay, I think that's enough for this video. That that should get you started. Uh, again, there's some more information about developing algorithms in the ebook, uh, and there's a few things in the the AP you know talks about beyond this. So be sure to pay close attention to your AP materials. Um, yeah. Cause it's, test is coming. So again, we talked about what an array list is, how to create it. Uh, don't forget to import Java util array list. That's very important. Uh, we, use, we talked about how to access using uh, set, or sorry, using get, how to modify using set. And there's a few other uh, you know, array list uh, methods that you can use. Uh, we learned size, for example. Check out the ebook for a few more details. And then we used four while and enhanced for loops to iterate through. And we developed a little bit of an algorithm to find a maximum value. So hopefully that'll get you started. Thanks for watching.